Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel and your weekly love reading. This reading is for August 30th to September the 5th. As always, it's a general reading. Please only take what messages resonate with you, leave what don't. Um, if it does resonate and you want to continue this reading and dive in deeper, there is an extended linked in the description. It's also titled. Um, there is also information regarding personal readings for anybody who is interested in having a personal reading. Um, I'm going to begin this reading with an oracle card from the Power of Love deck just to get a message from the universe for you regarding your love life for the week ahead. And then we're going to go into your tarot. So Pisces, what do you need to know about your love life for August 30th to September the 5th? Wow. Friendliness. Friendliness. Okay, so we've got friendliness. You are able to recognise traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. This is beautiful. This is about mutual energy, mutuality, about you connecting with another, being on the same page, being on the same level, having the same interests, being best friends, literally being best friends. And that is like the best relationships, isn't it, when you're not like best friends you've both got the same goals same interests you understand each other sorry guys this deck is so thick do you have any bigger hands for it Okay, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Recent past energy surrounding your love life. Present energy surrounding your love life. Near future energy surrounding your love life. The energy that is guiding you right now. Something that you need to know. Your energy. And a person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we have, wow, Muse of Inspiration, which is like the equivalent, I guess, to the King of Wands. Gorgeous. I feel like this is very encouraging. This is like, yes, you're on the right path. Yes, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You're being empowered and fueled up because you're heading in the right direction. You're guiding yourself and leading yourself in the right direction. Um, recent past energy surrounding your love life. This is interesting. The Ten of Inspiration. So the Ten of Wands. So you've done a lot of hard work and you've completed a lot of things. Um, you really have gone through quite a bit. It's been a long journey. Uh, you've re released a lot, you've been dutiful and handled a lot, you've achieved and accomplished a lot that you were needing to do. Um, you're, you have like really kind of completed a big journey here, certain missions, certain challenges, certain jobs, certain lessons, all these things. I feel like you've completed it and it was hard work and you put the work in. But yeah, this is, a, this is kind of coming up for all the signs like, the end of the old and the beginning of a brand new. Um, I feel though with this, with this muse of inspiration here, and actually this nine of materials, oh my gosh, then we've got the muse of emotions and the priestess there. You've really kind of stayed on track. You've stayed on your journey. You've stayed doing what you were guided to do. You're being really fueled up, really empowered here. I feel like the universe is really pleased with you. Like you've really kind of been dedicated, applied yourself, done everything that you needed to do. I feel like there is a reward coming for you as well. There is a surprise or a reward coming for you. I do kind of feel that too. Um, okay, for, for all your hard work and dedication. Present energy, we have the thought of emotions. I feel like this is you deciding what do I want next? What do I want next? You're focusing on 
you've achieved certain things you've achieved and you've experienced certain things but it's like what do I want next and I do feel like there is a wish or a, a gift that's going to be a surprise that's going to be presented to you could be a little bit bored at the moment as well or feel a little bit even a bit robotic because you put in so much hard work and effort and dedication I feel like you're needing a bit of fun and you're needing a bit of like light-heartedness you're needing a bit of R and R, good times, fun, celebration. You're needing something new that is emotionally fulfilling for you, emotionally joyful, abundant. That isn't just focused upon being dedicated and like doing. It's about you receiving and enjoying. Um, near future energy. I feel like as well. Sorry, sorry, guys. Before I move on. Virgo season as well I feel like you're going to be really identifying what is emotionally fulfilling you and what is not I feel like you're going to be doing a little bit like what Scorpio is doing really identifying certain things but you're going to see what is emotionally serving you and what is not and you could actually be thinking about somebody there could be a specific person you could be thinking about you might not be with this person but you might want to be with this person you might be thinking a lot about them um but I do feel for you you could be needing to kind of like focus and sort out certain things that whether things in your life are emotionally serving you anymore or not. Um near future NG Queen of Voices, how interesting because um Scorpio had the muse of voices in, in this position. You're gonna be very clear, you're gonna be very focused, very clear of what you want. Um and where you're going next, what you what you want to have in your life next, I do feel like that. You're going to be very clear about yourself, about your life, about and it's going to be about emotional fulfillment. What's serving you? What do you want to experience? What do you want to bring into your life? The energy that is guiding you is the nine of voices. This is like the nine of swords. Um, Again, I feel like this is very much focusing and deliberating upon what is bringing you joy. It's going to take you from a place where everything has been heavy, I feel, or it's been hard work. There has been some heaviness. It's taking you from the shadows into peace. Okay, there is a focus here on an identification um of okay this this is this has been really hard work or this is hard work still and i feel like i've learned what i needed to learn and now i want peace i want something new i feel like you're really kind of gonna be identifying what is not fulfilling you anymore what is more burdensome for you and really kind of focusing on what it is that you do want and you're going to be putting yourself into alignment you're you're closing up your cycle of duty and dedication and hard work and burdens and you're liberating yourself a little bit but at the same time manifesting what it is that you want um it's really interesting because i've been getting uh, messages actually i haven't put them in other readings but just be aware of any headaches that you get this time around this time as well um it would be very good to meditate. Meditation would be very good for you right now. Um, so, and and also, sorry, for you guys who are thinking and focusing about a connection. Um, you could be kind of really kind of purging out, mentally purging out worries stresses anxieties you could be liberating yourself a lot from any anxiety that you have regarding something or somebody that you want and this is what's going to really help you move into like this clear queen of voices where everything's so clear and you're relaxed and you're focused and you're secure and you're honest, you can be real honest here, and you can see the truth too. Something you need to know, we've got the two materials. 
again, I'm getting this type of Scorpio type of energy that that I just had for them. There's certain things you're needing to release certain things in your life that's not in alignment with where what it is, who it is that you want, what it is that you want. Um, you're needing to kind of you needing to bring in balance, okay, from hard work, from working all the time, hard work, dedication, duty, to taking care of yourself and putting yourself first a bit and putting emotional fulfillment and good times first. You need to get this balance here within your life. There needs to be a lot of balance that is brought into your life on a personal level. Your energy is a six of voices. You're ready to move forwards. You are. You're ready to move on from the nine of voices to the queen of voices. This is what you're doing for yourself. But this is beautiful. You're giving yourself like a gift of peace and clarity. Your person's energy is the hanged muse. So they might feel a bit stagnant right now. They're learning something. They're observing. They're seeing things from a different point of view. They're becoming quite enlightened here. Um... They're gaining some sort of clarity as well. It's very interesting because I feel like they're having a big lesson. You're kind of very uh, comfortably addressing certain things and gaining clarity upon yourself. They are seeing a, a situation. They're seeing a situation in a different way. Whether they want to or not, they're learning. They're being put for a big lesson. Um, now for you... With that muse for inspiration at the bottom of the deck, I just feel like you're being empowered um, to bring harmony into your life, to bring balance into your life. Again, like Scorpio, filtering certain things. Um, and and you're, you're going to be giving yourself some wish fulfillment. You are. You're just getting clear about it right now. But you, you are. You really are. You are. You're helping yourself shift into a new into a new cycle. It's not quite here yet, but you're helping yourself. You're supporting yourself. You're getting very clear within yourself here. I'm going to go and take this to the extended. I want to see what your person's going through, what they're learning right now. I want to see how they're feeling about you, how you're going to be feeling about them. I want to see about this four of emotions at the moment, see if I can help you with this. Although, basically, you are going to be shifting. You're going to be gaining clarity and everything. It's, everything's going to be wonderful. I want to address this kind of two of materials as well. So this resonates with you. Feel free to join me in the extended. The link is in the description. If not, thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next week.